Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Hey, my Americano gang. Today we're going to be watching something a little bit different. I say different, I've done Tom McDonald before, but I've never done Adam Calhoun, Calhoun, Calhoun. I don't even know how to say the guy's last name, but this is American Flags. I can already tell by the thumbnail, this is about to be the most patriotic thing I will ever hear or see. Um, shouts out to everybody who has uh, either streamed um, or gone to the uh, the cinemas, the theatres, um, to go and see Sound of Freedom. Um, I know that's like a... It might not be about that, but, you know, that's that's the most patriotic thing that's been going around recently. And I know that the people that listen to Tom McDonald will be... Probably fleeing the police. <laughs> um, so without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. I was going to do a, uh, a video in regards to the, the whole Sound of Freedom and then also the... Um, what was that new song that came out? What was the song that came out, that country one? People were saying it was racist. I haven't heard it yet, so if you want me to do a reaction to that, let me know. My people of this country and we're under attack. Do you know what? I hate Tom McDonald's choruses. I just don't like the way that he concocts a chorus. Whether it whether it's a chorus or he's he's using hooks. I don't care which one it is, usually they're trash. This one, he's brought it, like already. The title of it is in there, American Flag, and the way that he says it as well. I knew this was about to be the most patriotic thing ever. And look at this, Jesus Christ. Anyone who think 9-11 happened last week, these guys are on smock. Oi. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. Every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. American flags. American flags. Where do I do? Where do I do? I like, I like that. I like that. Every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. I ain't never gonna pretend that I give a damn. Anybody who's offended, come get it. We throwing hands. Anybody not trying to make America great again. You a punk, you a clown. Better know where I stand. I'm a white boy with the middle fingers in the air, dog. We don't give a what. Hundred white boys gonna hold me down anywhere, dog. We think that you suck. My patriots the craziest, they ain't afraid of breaking fists on faces if you really want to- Do you know what I actually rate about Tom McDonald is he's bringing, like, I don't like the whole race talk, right? I don't like the fact that, that, that people are racist, or whether you're white or black, I don't like racism, all right? You don't have to be an idiot to, to say that or agree with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, most people agree with it. But black people for the longest time have been talking about, you know, what it's like to be black and- Barely anybody is out here talk, like talking about what it's like to be white. Barely anybody's even saying the word white boy. Like the only time that race is ever mentioned is by black artists and they're calling people crackers or honkies. Whether they're discussing police or another rapper, it's like openly hating on somebody's race. It's like open racism. Whereas Tom McDonald's the only person that I'm seeing in, in current music who's saying like white boy, and it's not with a negative connotation, do you know what I mean? Hmm, I don't know. Anybody who's offended, come get it, we throwing hands. Anybody not trying to make America great again. You're a punk, you're a clown, better know where I stand. I'm a white boy with the middle fingers in the air, dog. We don't give a what. Hundred white boys gonna hold me down anywhere, dog. We think that you suck. My patriots, the craziest, they ain't afraid of breaking fists some faces. If you really want a taste of this, no safety tip. The same mistake and spray the clip, I pray you miss. Cause if you don't, they gonna go wacko. Oh, smoke like tobacco. Never nah, da, 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 smoke like tobacco. I, I do like that flow, but I kind of wish he'd have gone with the aces after games, aces after minimum, 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 minimum. I feel like he could have gone a lot longer with that. Do you know what the problem is, right? I say it's a problem. It's not a problem. The guy's doing major numbers, and he's got a lot of fans. Shouts out to the Hog Army. I know about you guys. I read every comment um, under my videos. I don't like read every comment ever. Um, but yeah, he's obviously major, but the problem for me is he has a lyrical ability. And I haven't heard like, I haven't heard a track where he just spazzes. 
I haven't heard a track like that because there's always like a there's always a message, there's always a point. And I'm guessing he doesn't want people to be lost in the lyricism and not understand the message. So I feel like he's kind of dumbing it down for the populace. For the people that watch reaction from reaction videos, they're gonna be the ones that understand it. So I'm not talking about you guys, and I'm not talking about me either. You you guys already know I'm the type of person that tries to find the message. I just wish that for once there was no message and he just went ham. Because I feel like he's got it in the bag. He's got it. That whole flow. He's it, he's it, that was fire. Anybody who's offended, come get it with throwing hands. Anybody not trying to make America great again. You're a pawn, you're a clown, better know where I stand. I'm the white boy with the middle fingers in the air, dog. We don't give a word. Hundred white boys gonna hold me down anywhere, dog. We, we don't think that you suck. My patriots the craziest. They ain't afraid of breaking fists on faces. If you really want to taste of this, no safety tip. The same mistake and spray the clip. I pray you miss, because if you don't, they don't go waggle. Automatic gun smoke like tobacco. Never hit a lady, but it's pretty hard to tell if you're a girl or a they them. There's these that those. I ain't never gonna take a knee for the anthem. Smack them. I don't give a damn, can't stand them. Gang full of randoms. Fan with Hang on, run up in your mansion, leave it all abandoned I was raised to be brave to the grave United States, we love the country that they've been corrupting Go woke and go broke or if you ain't awake My people of this country and we're under attack They banned it all No, do you know what? I, I wasn't going to say something But then, then the, more I, the more I'm thinking it that like, I, What am I doing on? What am I doing with a channel? What am I doing with a platform if I don't speak my mind And I'm, I'm keeping my mouth shut Or I'm speaking somebody else's mind I just said I, you you don't have to you don't have to like be a woman beater like you're definitely not a woman beater but if you can't tell if it's a man woman blah 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 if it's a they them there if you can't tell then you run the risk of being a woman beater my only advice would be just to not punch people that would be my only advice just don't punch people and then you don't have to be accused of anything you know <laughs> just don't punch people regardless of what their, their sexual identity or gender identity is. Just don't, just don't punch people, you know? I ain't never gonna take a knee for the anthem, smack them. I don't give a damn, can't stand them. I'm not gonna take a knee for the anthem. Run up in your mansion, leave it all abandoned. I was raised to be brave to the grave. United States, we love the country that they've been corrupting. Go woke and go broke or if you ain't awake. My people love this country and we're under attack. They ban us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand. And every time we pull up on your gun, this is American flags. American flags. American flags. And every time we pull up on your gun, this is American flags. Okay, so Adam, it's your turn, brother. It's your turn. Don't disappoint me. Do not disappoint Hog Army, all right? I like it when Tom's on this on this BS. However, with him saying like, oh, they're, they're, they're cancelling us for speaking the facts, I'm sure it is a little bit of that. Like there's things that, that Tom McDonald's saying that the news should be saying, but don't. It, that, that, that's pretty evident at this point. However, with them having like tanks and with them being dressed like they're in the army, it's, it, it seems very confrontational, do you know what I mean? Like, imagine if you were on the other side. Like, imagine if you weren't a fan of Tom or you were, like, heavily left-wing. I know that, you know, fuck the other side, fuck the ops. I know that. But imagine if you were them looking at this. You probably would be, I don't know, maybe fearful or you'd get scared about, like, what, what that message is, especially with the visualisation of, like, tanks and we're screaming at the camera. Like, it might imagine what that looks like. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that, that he's antagonising, but I am saying that he's clearly capitalising on the, the divide between. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so obvious that, that if you were on the other side and you were watching this, it's triggering. Do you know what I mean? In the same way that I'm sure Sam Smith and Lil Nas X, they know what they're doing. Lil Nas X grinding on the devil. Are you, f are you stupid? I'm sure they know what they're doing. They knew that was going to piss off the right-wingers. The, the Christians, they knew that was going to annoy them. The trad wives, they knew that they knew it was going to annoy them. So it's both sides doing it. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like I feel like Tom McDonald is is worth a lot more than a pawn in this in this little battle between left and right. 
good and evil, blue and red. He's, he's worth much more than just being a pawn. Do you know what I mean? In my opinion. But let's let Adam do his thing. Why do you think we got these guns just so we can do some hunting? Although again, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's very confrontational. Like we, we like unless they're illegal. If they're illegal whammies, that's one thing. But we don't have legal guns in this country. Do you know what I mean? We don't. We don't have that. We have hunting weapons. That's one thing. So if somebody does keep a gun, they probably do hunt. In this country, I'm not used to it. You know what I mean? I'm not used to just seeing them like on every street corner or seeing like like old ladies having guns. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's not something that I'm acclimatized to, so it's probably different for, for me culturally to try and be okay with it, but I don't know, just a lot of talk about guns, like imagine how many people are dying, bro. I'm not even saying get rid of the guns. You need them in case you need to revolt against your government. I understand that. For that reason, you know, sometimes I've kind of wished that we'd had them, but we have knife crime here, so I know that if, if people are killing people with knives in record numbers every year, and you give us guns, what's going to happen? This... I don't know, man. You need to find peace. You need to find unity. And that's why I'm saying all of this fucking reactionary, like, confrontational-looking shit. I don't know, man. I can't personally be on board with it and be like, yeah, hey. I can't personally be like that. But it's easy for me to do, you know. I don't see the things that you guys see in America, so it might be, what's the word, like culturally insensitive? Is that the word? Would it be cultural? I don't know. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just a song, you know? But there is a message. They, they obviously want there to be a message. So. I like this guy, though. I didn't realise he was going to come with this kind of fight. Okay, I liked Adam's verse. I liked his verse. His flow was not what I was expecting. His flow was like, I don't know, it was like, I don't know, who's that, who's that, who's that battle rapper? He battle rapped on KOTD, Mad Child. That's who he sounds like. He even looks a little bit like Mad Child, just minus the crazy tats on his face. Um, yeah, that battle rapper. Holy, he really does sound like him as well. <laughs> Like from way back here, like nasally as. I really like Adam's uh, Adam's verse. It was nice. It was good. However, again, on the subject of division, it's like, oh, the government they want us divided. It's like, okay, but you're on one side of that division, and you're not doing anything about the division. You're causing more division with stuff like this, breath. It's not like you're trying to unify the people. Like you're part of the problem now. Because you're complaining about division whilst exacerbating division. How does this make any sort of sense unless you are capitalising on this monetarily? That's the only way it makes sense, is, 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 if you're, is if this is how you make money, by spreading this message. That's the only way that this makes sense. For you to pen this down and think that it makes sense, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense to whine and bitch and complain about the, the, the division and then exacerbate it. 
you're bitching and complaining about the division and the fact that there's a fence that other people are on the other side of and yet you're going, fuck you guys. That's why you're divided, bruv. Mm. Like, it does not take a genius. You know what I mean? Christ. I mean, he low-key looks like me if, if I talk steroids. He looks like me if I was a man. We got flags on our arms that are tatted there for life. Every time we pull up, we don't care if you're mad. We cherish this land. The haters can't get buried in rags. They set fire to old glory, turning fabric to ash. But every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. American flags. American flags. Okay. And every okay. time we Okay, okay, okay. What's this? The Brave 2. That's not a song then, is it? They've done like an album together. Oh, that's pretty cold. Well done, lads. Okay, so... Okay. So their verses individually, they, they, it came across a certain way. However, in that last bit, with what they were saying, like, especially what Adam, Adam Calhoun, Calhoun, what Adam said, about um, they burn our flags until they turn to ash. Like, they're not going against the other side. They're simply going against anybody who is going against American values, like traditional American values, constitutional values. That's who they're going against. All right, all right. See, like, I, it seems as though I was completely wrong. Just going by that last bit, most of what I said during the reaction may have been completely wrong, just going off that last bit. And I feel like maybe that makes more sense as well. They were going at people who were against traditional values because that's what the American flag represents. Oh, oh the vision, bruv. The vision of, of, of what Tom McDonald was saying about like, um, well, about like when we pull up on our, on our bikes and on our, on our cars, like we've got it tattered on us for life. Like it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It is genuinely something that like, I've always been envious of. Because in this country, like, the English flag is, is too heavily linked with jingoism. And xenophobia is too heavily linked with these things and people get scared to put the damn flag up because then people are like, oh, they're racist. It's happened to us in this country. And, you know, I'm somebody who reacts to music from all over the world. So for me to see all of these other flags being raised and being... And I never see our flag get raised. I never see the English flag get raised. We see the Great British flag. But Great Britain's basically just a big company. That's all Great Britain is. It's not a fucking country. It's a conglomerate of countries that make one big government company. It's bullshit. The English flag never gets raised. Never. But you guys still have that. And you guys still have millions of you who believe in that flag and what it represents. So so I I actually agree with this message. I actually I actually agree with this message. I went through that entire song thinking that I didn't. And and I do. I do, I agree with it. Because you should be able to be proud of the place that you are from. Whilst still accepting the fact that. We're not the same as, as the people we once were, you know? When the constitution was written, they said all men are created equal, you know? They didn't really mean it. And I feel like we, the way the time's gone, they've gone further and further into, into meaning it and putting it into place. And now there are no laws which, which denigrate a specific race. There are no laws that do that. So within the constitution, within the law, and within the government. All men, all women, everybody, equal, you know? 
You don't even have like a like a, a transsexual general, right? He's like a five-star general. And he's a he's a transsexual, is he, is he a trans man? I don't know, he's a T. Either way, he's a T. But um the dogs. Yeah, he's a he's a T, so. And he's a five-star general. I don't know. Everything looks like it's like it's perfectly fine. There's so many people bitching. But I do believe that traditional values and traditional morals and traditional ways of life, I believe that they are better than the way that we're currently living and trying to live. Like creating some new sort of fucking utopia. I don't know. I feel like the 90s might have had it right. The 90s and the early 2000s. And then after that, everything fucked. But enough about that. This isn't the Joe Rogan experience. I'll see you guys soon. Um, if you have any comments on this uh, reaction or you agree, hashtag disagree with me. Um, whatever the case is, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to have conversations with everybody. Um, but let it be known that all opinions are welcome. Whether you agree with me or not, whoever you agree with and disagree with down in the comments, argue with people. Argue with people. Put your point across. Say what you want to say and mean it. Think about it. You know, I'd encourage that behavior. I love seeing stuff like that, so I hope any of you uh, get into it. I'll see you guys soon.